So let's go ahead and start off with 5.14. Approve the plans and specifications for the Lucerne Harbor dredging project and authorize the public services director to advertise for bids. Director Ewing, welcome. Good morning. Uh, Lars Ewing, Public Services Director. Uh, so uh, typically for, for approval of, of plans and, and specifications for a project, we, we put it on consent and, and it was uh, requested to be to be pulled. I'll give a, a, a brief summary of the project. Uh, it is a dredging of Lucerne Harbor. Uh, it's been a, a project on the books for, uh, for quite a while uh, and we have worked through uh, through a variety of issues, and we're we're ready to ready to go to bid. Uh, we we have uh, funding aligned up lined up in uh, budget unit uh, 1781. Uh, there are mitigation measures that are required uh, during the project, and and we have a, a, a plan in place for that. Uh, both uh, uh, tribal monitoring, archaeological monitoring, uh, as well as uh, offsite disposal. So um, I, I think maybe there I'll just pause and and. Uh, you know, Chair or uh, Vice Chair Crandall, if if you. No, I don't have any questions. I think I just wanted to make sure that we pulled this to, uh, you know, just have a discussion about it so that uh, the public can see this. I know that at the Central Region Town Hall last night, it's usually a running item on their uh, town hall agenda. So I wanted to just make sure that we had somewhat of a, you know, a discussion about it. I know it's a something that commonly in, in any other situation would just go right through, I right, on, on consent, but because it's been such an. I, uh, an item of interest on that agenda. I just wanted to make sure and, and give somewhat of a timeline as well. And it's 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 to support what's happening as of now because it's been um, reported to the Central Region Town Hall that this was taking place this year, and it is. And so I know that there's been other discussions and folks that are, are stating things. And I know it's just because they don't have the right information. And when this started, it was like 2019 when we approved the funding. 2020 came. I mean, COVID's not a good excuse, but that is what it is. That's what it was. We were, you know, we weren't able to do these things that year. 21, it, it commenced and moved forward. However, it, it, it sparked CEQA. And so that's what we went through that year. And then 2022, we finally got to a point of running that CEQA situation. Um, and there was actually a, an artifact found. And so when that takes place, it takes a while to move forward from there. So. I just want to say that Lars, you've been pushing this along, you know, with the limitations that you had here and there, and it's not anything against you. It's it's what you've had. It's it's things that have taken place. So you're on time with everything that you've said. In my opinion, I've been watching, and I appreciate you working through this, giving updates to our town hall. I'm glad that we're here, and um, and I just wanted to also add that everything that's been reported. We're here, and it's been what you've been reporting to the town as well. So I know it's taken a while. Government takes a while. I appreciate that the board supported the funding back in 19 and then continued forward. So I just wanted to highlight that because a lot of times misinformation is put out there. And so I just wanted to make sure that that is uh, uh, highlighted. Thanks. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the, the timing on it was, you know, it's not something that I, I would uh, like to put my, my name on, but, uh, but yeah, there were, um, there were, uh, Obstacles along the way that weren't anticipated, but uh, but we've we've certainly learned from those. Um, so the, the the timing on it, yes, we we do intend to go to uh, go to bid. Should should your board uh, approve the the plans and specs, we would uh, go to bid not soon hereafter. And uh, uh, pending pending bid results, um, construction. One of the the, the reasons for the uh, for the delay, at least the most recent one, is um, a, a very specific uh, construction window that we have um, uh, for uh, for Hitch. Uh, so we can only do construction between October 15th and December 31st. And so, uh, in as much as last year, near the, uh, the 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 end of fall last year, we received the you know the 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 approval, uh, the the CEQA approval for it. Uh, the the window had come and gone for us to uh, to have time to go out to bid and, and line up a contractor and do it during that uh, that work window. So, uh, so yes, we, we do anticipate going to construction. Uh, and to call it construction, you know, you, you, it's it's deconstruction. Really, we're removing. We're not building anything. But, um, uh, but it, it would be this, uh, you know, this fall and winter. So, happy to answer any any other questions here. And in, in from what I stated, it, there's no. Uh, it's not your name on. It's all these other situations. Well, no, I'll I'll, I'll put my name on it, and and, we, and and I, you know, my department can can learn from it, and and I think others have learned from it as well. What the you know the, the best process to go through, uh, you know, the the, the lessons learned from, uh, you, you know, having a, a, a you know, CEQA, uh, um, kind of predetermined. No, I mean we we need to have the 
uh, the, the project description uh, fleshed out and, and, and get, get our comments through there. So it's, um, it's nothing, uh, uh, it, we've, we've learned, certainly learned from it, my, my department and others. Yeah, we all have, me too. <laughs> Thanks, Lars. Yep. Supervisor Green. Yeah, thank you. Uh, excited to move this pro uh, see this project move forward. Uh, you're right, you get comments up there, oh, this will never happen. It will happen. Uh, I do want to notice, uh, note that uh, we're here to approve the plans and specs. They're not posted with the agenda item, so uh, you know I'll be moving ahead today, but it, it's awkward for any agenda item when we're asked to approve something that we literally haven't seen on the agenda, so I'm glad you guys have confidence that it's there, but uh, as a sitting board member and a member of the general public, um, we're here to approve plans and specs that are sight unseen. So first question, is there something proprietary or uh, something that uh, uh, these plans and specs are uh, not suitable for public inspection or posting? It, when, when, uh, when your board approves plans and specs, they are, uh, I, I hesitate to say always, but in my experience with the county, uh, it, it has been always uh, available for for board review at um, uh, at the administrative office, which was the case here. So uh, the the board memo does indicate that it was followed with the clerk of the board. I, I know at least a couple of, of board members did review those. Um, and the reason for for not posting it to the public is it is it will go out to public bid soon. And so for providing it out there prior to your board's approval uh, with any changes, uh, you know for for. Uh, I, I, I guess a, a fair a fair bidding process. We want to ensure that we're posting it at a certain time and through a certain process that uh, that the state code requires. So you're saying there's something about the bidding process that would argue against public disclosure of what we're approving here today? Well, what, what I would what I would say is that in in my experience with all the public projects that that we've ever put out to formal bid, this is the process that we've followed. I I, I don't want to say. That uh, I'll, I'll need to research that, and probably in coordination with legal and others. But that's uh, that's been the process that, that we've followed for all formal projects that we don't include with, uh, we, we don't post it for for public review when your board is approving the plans and specs. They will go out to for the public to review uh, when we when we post them for bid, but not not for uh, not for board review of the plans and specifications. Maybe we. We can definitely but circle back. Maybe we can follow up on that. As long as I have you here, though, um, that's part of a larger process. I know it's a complicated thing, but there are some uh, dredging projects that have been proposed in my district. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see how this thing has clunked through over, over the months and years, uh, if only because I'm looking at uh, the p possible future for some dredging on, on the boat ramps here on the Lakeport side. So. Um, can you just give us, not like a 30 second elevator speech, but uh, how did this process unfold? Uh, how was the noticing? How was the agency feedback? How was the CEQA? Uh, you know, what lessons learned uh, can we apply? So when, uh, when it does come time, and it will come time, sooner than later I hope, that we look at dredging projects elsewhere in the county. So I'm, I'm gonna interrupt the question. I think it's a good question. I prefer the question be responded to offline. This is specifically to the plans in front of us and whether or not to approve the plans, uh, not to learn of the process on how the plans came to be uh, for other uh, projects. So I would request that that question be taken offline so we can stay focused on the specific project that is being discussed and the specific plans that we are looking to authorize to go ahead and open up the bids. Okay. Fair enough. I also want to make sure that the bid's not uh, tarnished in any way. So I understand why we don't put the plans out for public review. If someone wants to bid on it and they have a chance to read it and all this other stuff, there's potentially some way that somebody could feel like someone had an edge. And so that's the purpose of not putting it out there and us to review in the clerk of the board's office. And so um, my intention wasn't to call that specific uh, uh, concept out. It was just to make sure we had an overview and a discussion about it. So. I just wanted to highlight that. And I appreciate you pulling this item. This has definitely been something we have been showing um, um, support for to get accomplished uh, so that Lucerne Harbor can have the experience that everyone should have at Lucerne Harbor. Um, appreciate the timeline being provided between October 15th and December 31st, uh, and appreciate the fact that the plans and specs were available. I did go through uh, the packet yesterday, uh, and it was easily available, uh, and, and so was able to go through that. And I think that it's about, and it's about being fair and equitable 
to anyone that wants to provide a proposal that everyone can have that access at the same time and not at different time periods. Uh, I think it's kind of similar to the agenda. Uh, we don't receive packages before the public receives the packages for the agenda. We receive them all simultaneously. And so I see that as being very similar. Um, and so appreciate um, the, the conversation we had uh, about the packet, and I am excited to move this forward, uh, especially excited for Vice Chair Crandall, um, because I know this has been long coming, and, and there's been a process, and appreciate the pro going through the process. If there's no further, uh, Supervisor Green. Thank you, I appreciate your confidence in the process. My uh, discomfort or disagreement with that process will be reflected in my vote today, but I'm very supportive of this project. If there's no further comments, I let's go ahead and... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're open to the public? If, if you want to speak... Oh, no, 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 go ahead. I, uh, yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead and open it up for the public. Anyone from the public wish to speak on this item? I see no hands in the Zoom room, Zoom room and no one getting up in the chamber. Bring it back to the board for action. Mr. Chair, I will move to approve the plans and specifications and authorize the Public Services Director to advertise for bids for the, for the CERN Harbor project. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I think the next item, I don't know if you want to stay or... I'll, I'll be available. It's, it's not my item. I, I'll okay. be available if there's questions. Thank you very much.